There was a white supremacist group that had a hit on Easy e and the FBI knew about it. And they also had a hit on uh, uh, Chuck D from Public Enemy, Reverend Cecil B. Murray of the First AME Church, and uh, Rodney King. So the FBI told all these people, you know, there's a hit on you, be careful, watch your back. But they didn't tell Eric, and they didn't tell anyone that worked for Eric. Wow. We found out watching the news. Why do you think the FBI didn't warn you, but the FBI went on the news and they bragged about how they warned Rodney King? And um, uh, Did you feel it had anything maybe to do with, like, uh, a personal vendetta or anything? I don't know. Maybe they don't want me to Maybe they wanted them to get me for real. Easy stopped trusting him, thought he was taking money. Was yeah, any of that true? Do you know that is a huge belief for fans of the group, right. people who've seen the film. They believe that Jerry was stealing money from Easy. We've heard Ice Cube talk about that as well. He had told me that he had fired Jerry Heller. Finances wasn't right. You know, Jerry was misleading him, too. Was he doing that? Well, and I've got a lot of backup here. No, it's all bull****. Jerry would have never stole from him. Throughout the years, I've heard, like, Toker has things to say. Toker said your dad had said things to him, you know, that nobody knew. But just hearing this directly from Toker's mouth. Toker witnessed and saw all this. He was there. There was not too many people that was in the room. And he sat me down one day and, 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 and told me that. Easy wanted Toker, like, literally to take him out of there in his smarts. Like, man, get me out of here. Right. And I and I kind of took it like, well, maybe just easy to want to be in the hospital. I don't want to be in the hospital, you know what I mean? But he did say that. Toka did say that. 